Oh, I didn't read that, my bad. There is no linen on the armored car, although one could really expect something like that after all that happened. Hmm. Instead, however, a monument to a certain comrade toward the middle of the square. The letters on the pedestal read, Genda. Huh. Must be some big figure at the party. Oh man, I feel like I need to brush up on just all the history right now. Ugh, I feel like that would help a little bit. There's some b small benches at the side. It's quite cozy in here. Where did the girl tell me to go? Uh, to Dmitrivnik whatever person's house, I think. She said left and then right, but I don't remember what she said exactly. To the left or to the right? I'm pretty sure it's left and then right. To the left, to the right. Oh, no. To the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. And why am I going there anyway? Well, might as well go there to see what's up, right? Right? Ah, I've decided to pretend to be normal. Psh, who wants to pretend to be normal? I'd rather not be normal. Let's pretend to be abnormal. Come on, Simeon, you don't have to fall into conformists. So to the right- No! No! And she said left! I'm pretty sure she said left! God, Simeon, no! No! We're gonna go bump into another girl, or we're gonna like, be lost in the forest of this whole camp. I guarantee it. Yep, are we lost? Please tell me we're lost, because Simeon did not go left. Through a small grove, I walked to a pier. Oh, man. I still really have to admire this visual novel for its art. I really love how this looks. Must have taken a wrong turn. Hell yeah, you took a wrong turn! Uh, which pioneer girl? Oh, wrong way! I just assumed that's the yellow haired girl. I turned towards the voice. Is it Miku? Oh, no, it's, uh, the first girl stood before me. Oh, uh, yeah, I see that you have a change of bikini. Or either that, maybe this is your underwear, but I'm assuming this is your bikini. I did tell you- I already forgot her voice, oh my gosh. I did tell you to turn left in the square, and where have you gone? I told him- I know, right? I told him to go left, and he didn't go left, he went right. I don't know why he went right, but, you know, at least- Jeez, at least I remember that it was left. Ugh. Okay, Simeon. No, enough. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm gonna stop yelling right now. She changed my pioneer uniform into a bikini. Oh, I wonder why. Oh, I still haven't introduced myself yet. My name is Slava. Wait. Oh, wait. Okay, okay. I, uh, I really hope I'm not pronouncing that wrong. Is it like Slavaya? Slavaya? Slavia? 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 Okay, I'll just say Slavia. Hi, Slavia! Actually, the full name is Slavayana, but everyone here calls me Slavaya. Cool. So can you! <laughs> okay, okay, that, 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 like, that, that's like really funny, because you know why? It's like, oh, you can, it's like, say for example, you have someone like for my like for instincts like uh what's a really good name like alexander like say like oh i'm alexander but you can call but everyone here calls me alex you can call me alex too i just find that little piece of dialogue pretty hilarious because i think it's just like oh you can call me by this name even though i really think it shouldn't matter that much uh uh yeah i still felt a bit confused so i could not come up with more meaningful answers What's a more meaningful answer to that? I don't know. Call me Sem. Well, because it's short from Semyon. Not, not Semen. And what's your name? Felt like she could see right through me. Yeah, we could drown in her eyeballs, remember? Oh, I, ooh, 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 Semyon. Nice to meet you, Semyon. Alright. Oh. Alright, I'm almost done here. Are you almost done swimming in the freaking lake in your bikini? I feel, I feel like my, I don't want it anymore, but I feel like Sammy might want more of that action. Could you wait here a minute? I'm gonna go change, and we'll go to the All Good and then Trivia together. Agreed? Agreed. Uh, who says that anymore? I, like, agreed? She ran off after these words, and I sat on the pier and let my feet hang in the water. I was wearing heavy winter boots, but in such weather there was nothing wrong with my feet. Well, yeah, because it's summer, technically, according to the weather. Furthermore, let me cool myself a little. That's good. Looking at the river, I was brainstorming and processing everything that was happening. Or that had happened. If this is some kind of conspiracy, it is a weird one, even too friendly at times. 
No, it really looks more like a random event. You know, like a random RPG event. Like, you know, we walk into the grass and, enter, and then you encounter five looking dashing girls in pirate uniforms. Some, entire, some entirely incomprehensible random event. Shall we go? Yep, let's go, Slavia. Slavia was beside me, dressed in the pirate uniform again. Let's oh, let's go! I've been here for a very short time, but all the people I've met, she looks the least suspicious. Yeah, I like Sla I like Slavia too. She looks really nice, and she's not like any. She's not the. She's not that weird. However, this fact is already suspicious by itself. Okay, no, we aren't doing any more contradicting statements again, Semyon. You just said she was suspicious, but then you just said it was she was least suspicious. We ain't. Come on, come on. Haven't you learned from this past episode or this past events? We walk to the square. Oh hey, there's USSR and what's your face? Uh, Hit Girl? No, not not the one from the movie, but I guess I'll just I don't know what to call her by. Hit Girl? I'll just I'll just stick with Hit Girl. The USSR girl and the girl who hit me on the back of the head were there, chasing each other. Yes, my imagination. They are chasing each other, even though they're just standing right there in visual novel fashion. Is this some kind of game they're playing? As a tag? Oh, oh, Yana. Stop the nose running. I'll tell everything to Olga Demenitriva. Oh, I didn't realize she was looking mad. I should probably say that again. Oh, Venya, enough running. I'll tell everyone everything to Olga Demenitriva. Okay, I feel like you're a goody two shoes, Slavia, but you know, that's okay. I like goody two shoes. Oh, okay. Oh man, I don't know what to give her voice. What do little what do little children sound like? Do, do, their, do their voices sound high, squeak, high and squeaky, right? Aye aye, Captain! Oh jeez, let's just stick with that. I decided not to question Slavia for a while, and I was about to go on about the local residents. Better for oh, better first reach the mysterious Olga Dimitrovna. Sounds like she's the boss here. Yep, I want to go meet Olga as well. We were walking past the rows of almost identical cabins, some of which looked like f fat beer barrels, while the others looked more like h household sheds. Finally, Slav Slavia stopped in front of the smallest one-story cabin. Ooh, those purple trees are really nice. I mean, purple flowers. Purple flowers. It looked like an artist painting. Yeah, I know, right? The fading paint chipping here and there with age, the sparkling in the sun, the windows shutter, slightly ajar, and swaying in the wind, almost unnoticeable, and huge lilac bushes were growing on the sides. Gosh, I still- Ugh! I have to admire this. This is just too good. Ugh, I love this art! It seems as if the ramshackle hut was drowning in the velvet puppet storm. Puppet storm, purple storm, and the lilacs, some elemental force were inox inexorably destroying the troop leader's house. But I don't care if it destroys the house, it looks so beautiful. Who wouldn't want to be destroyed by lilacs? What are you standing for? Let's go! Slavia took me out of my daydreams. Uh, voice. Okay, what's well, another voice that is? If, okay, green person. It's either. It can't be the girl. For, it can't be the hit girl because her. I feel like hers would be brown. Can't be purple haired girl because I think hers would be purple. So I'm guessing this is either. Yeah, this is probably a new voice. It's probably Olga. Um. Stop. Okay. Stop teasing Lena already. Oh, that's. Unbelievably. Oh gosh, Rena from Higurashi. Yeah, Rena. <laughs> that's what I thought too. Okay, Semyon, our love for anime will unite us both. Sounds like there's someone inside. Indeed, a moment later, the door swung open and Ulnia ran out and dashed at the same mischievous grin. The pigtail girl went out next. Don't get too upset about her, Lena. So her name is Lena. Oh, so her name is Lena. Wow, that's a really pretty name. Gotta be thankful it's not Rena, at least. <laughs> oh gosh, that'd be funny if her name was Rena. Oh gosh. <clears throat> okay, shy girl. Shy girl. She looks like a shy girl. So let's do the shy boys. But but I d I, d I don't. She didn't finish her phrase. Blushed and quickly headed towards the square. Oh, how cute. For some reason, I felt like turning around and following her with my eyes. But Slavia said, "Come." Um. 
we entered the cabin. Oh god, look, look, who has, okay, who has a floor mat that is bright green, oh, it's not bright green, bright yellow and dark green. That is so ugly. I'm sorry, I just have to point that out. And also, I have to point out this wallpaper poster over here. I don't know anyone who has a poster of a man with a blue head on it on the wall. Or maybe that's someone important that, and I'm just being mean right now. Oh gosh, it's someone important I'm being mean. And there's a guy with a bag on his head. Okay, yeah, no, I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be there. Right, you don't have people, you don't have pictures of people with their bags on their heads. You put, you don't put, you definitely don't put that in your room. Or I guess, ugh, maybe people do. I don't know. I don't know what can flow. I don't know what normal people in society do nowadays. Inside, it looks similar to what I was imagining. Two beds, a table, a couple of chairs, a simple carpet on the floor, a wardrobe. Nothing special, but at the same time, it felt home-like and cozy. Although the room was almost the same state as, of disorder as my own flat. Huh. I mean, eh, it looks pretty. It looks pretty nice. I like the triangle shape, though. Whoa! Is this Olga? Oh, it has to be. A girl standing near the window appeared to be 25 years old. I guess she looks more older. I don't know, it's hard to tell with anime style drawings how old each person is, because I feel like if you're drawn in anime, it like makes you look instinctively younger. But maybe but perhaps the way she's drawn does make her look older. Alright. The nature obviously gifted her with a pretty face and a good body. Well, I'm pretty sure the nature gifted everyone on this on this pioneer camp with a good body and a pretty face. At least one thing can be happy in this pandemonium. The locals are beautiful. Ugh, you're home. Samia, control your hormones right now. Uh, okay. How should she sound like? Well, she looks a bit rough, right? She started yelling at Lena earlier, so... Huh. You're finally here! It's excellent! My name is Olga Zeminicheva! <laughs> oh gosh, I still can't pronounce her name. I'm the camp leader! Nice to meet- oh, nice to meet you. I'm Samyon. I decided to talk as if I weren't surprised by anything that was going on. Uh, yeah, might as well act in out of suspicion than in suspicion. Oh, she came closer. Oh, too close, too close! We've been waiting for you since the early morning! Waiting for me? I never signed up for anything. Did you kidnap me? Did you order the bus to kidnap me? Or maybe did I kidnap myself to come here? You've been waiting for me? Oh, you've been waiting for me? Yes, of course! When does the next bus come? Cause I... And why do you need it? Yeah, right, why would I need it? Guess I shouldn't ask direct questions. The people here may react to them quite unlike what I prefer. And I doubt I get any answers. Uh, no reason, just curious. By the way, oh. By the way, where are we exactly? My mailing address, I mean. I wanted to send a letter to my parents to tell them I got here all fine. Okay, okay, I like this idea, pretending that we don't know anything so that we can find out everything. For some reason, I had this idea that if I played along, I would find something out. Oh, but your parents just gave a call half an hour ago, said that I were guards to you. What? Now that's a surprise. Yeah, that's a surprise. How do my- maybe- is it all my parents' fault? Did my parents make this camp, kidnap me, and then call me- call them a player and be like, Oh, yeah, have to take care of our son, because, you know, we want him to get out of the house. So I can call them? Because I forgot to tell them something before I left. Now! What? She gave me a sweet name and natural smile. Why not? We don't have a phone here. Then how can my parents- how can my parents make a call here? I've just come back from- oh, okay. Olga and Semi are sounding too similar. I have to- I have to see what I can do with her. Oh, man. Okay. I'm just- let, 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 let's change this up a bit. Maybe we should go for like a uptown white girl. Uptown white girl? I don't think I want to call, call this voice that. I, let's say uptown rich girl. Yeah, that's better. I've just come back from the district central town. It's there that I talked to them. Ah, uh, that's how it is? And can I somehow get into town? No! She kept the same smile. 
Why not? Because the next box only comes in a week. I decided not to inquire how the troop leader managed to get there and back. I would get no answer anyway. All this time, Slavia was just standing next to me and she seemed to find that nothing odd about conversation. Oh, and we need to find a uniform for you. Yes, let's go wear uniforms. I've got absolutely no desire to put on pioneer shorts or wear the ridiculous red handkerchief. Oh! Let's not dress up as Boy Scouts. However, wearing winter clothes in summer is not a great idea either. Right, thank you. I wonder if I'm the only one here who finds this way someone's wearing a coat and winter boots in such heat. Ready, ready, I'll be off then, and you can get yourself a quick camp. Don't forget to come to dinner in the evening. Having said that, she walked out of the cabin. No, watch is not the right word. She rushed out. She's like just brushed out, just slapped her head on the Huh? Uh huh. Only if there was a visual. I was not alone with Slavia. I must go too. Got things to do. Have a walk. Look around camp a bit. See you in the evening. If there was no, if there is no catch or minutes to that, then this reality is that person Slavia becomes more and more something to be caught of. Yeah, I like her the most. She seems like the most normal. Not normal. I guess I like her. I don't know why. I, I, I would hate to say normal because like that would assume an expectation about everyone because not everyone is normal. But I like Slavia. I like her because she's been helping us. For the first time today, I realized it was awfully, awfully hot in here. Although obviously my win winter with their with their clothes before they blamed for that. With their oh, I wonder if they're just trying to spell winter. I took off my clothes and dropped it onto bed and pulled went, and pulled my pullover and went after. I was now wearing the only shirt. Wait, are we staying in this room? That's much better! All I could do was follow the advice and just go look around camp. I'll try to find something out in the meanwhile. Yeah, might as well go do that. Passing the local residential district, I saw a pioneer guy coming my way. Oh my god, we get to meet a man! Okay, okay, okay. Let's not screw this up and hopefully we can, you know, see how we can get out of here. Or maybe he's just part of everyone else. Whoa. Wow. Them shorts, man. Them shorts. <laughs>